All right, the most fun video that we get to do and the one that everybody asks for, um, even though everybody knows when it's coming. It comes up after the derby heats, right? Here we go, aftermath. We are going to start with the 91 Honda Accord that I ran. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to deal with two separate videos on this one. Um, Adam's not brought the car back yet. He's gonna bring it tomorrow. So we will get an aftermath shot on the Accord wagon tomorrow. So you'll see that video up shortly after this one. All right, starting at the front of the car. Um, not a whole lot's changed. I think that dent's new. And that might be curled a little bit more. I got to make one hit going forwards. Driver's door, still untouched. Vinyl still in good shape even. Losing a, losing part of the R. R. Um, donut still got air in it. Back end. She went up a little bit more. Not sure how well you guys can see that. Hopefully well enough. You know, everything's, I mean, these Hondas are, are pretty well known for, for folding right without any work. Um, even though we built this car two years ago, over two years ago, um, I did a decent amount of research on, on how they bend. And I didn't touch it. I didn't notch it. I didn't dimple it. I didn't do anything because everybody said these things will go in just fine on their own. Um, if you try to help them, you can end up with a whale tail and you get the whole thing up in your view so we didn't do anything and I would definitely agree with what everybody said that seems to be going in just fine obviously a ton of life left you know hood obviously if we'd have made this car more recently or trunk sorry that would probably be secured a little bit better but overall it's still not pushing up and in my way that tire didn't have air when we started still doesn't strangely enough um, somebody thinks that hole got bigger, I don't think so, um, I'm not really sure. I don't think I actually took any passenger side shots to the doors, um, everybody, I took three hits this entire derby. If you guys watched the video, um, I think I lasted exactly 40 seconds, so I didn't get to do much with for going out in a car that I really wanted to destroy, um, I really wanted this to be the send off for the car. So it took me out. There she is. This is the exact same thing that we had to fix on the wagon when we borrowed it from its previous owner. This upper ball joint is a weak spot on Hondas and everybody will say that and it is definitely 100% true. Um, obviously that's not a real stout connection. So how do you fix it? Well, we're going to torch this off just like we did for the Honda and we're going to make this a bolt instead of that chintzy little ball joint. I don't know if we're going to be able to see, if I get you over here, there we go. That part is bent pretty good as well, so we'll straighten that out a little bit. And uh, this car's definitely got another run in it. Yeah, you can see that's a little bit of the paint from from where I got hit. You know, oh yeah, that's curled a little bit more too. So overall guys, I really wanted to go put on a show for you with this one. And uh, unfortunately I didn't get to do that. So that's the name of the game sometimes. Um, would we have done better if we'd have taken two fresh Luminas to Wasa? Probably, but we didn't. We took two Honda Accords, and um, I did have this one. You know, this is a manual transmission. Um, she did kind of flub out on me a little bit. It never actually died, um, but it did seem like it was struggling to get fuel. So I'm going to go through the fuel pump and make sure the line, nothing's kinked or anything there, because um, it was running fine up until the show, and it ran fine all except for that one little blip where it it started to choke out and I couldn't I couldn't get much gas. It didn't affect the outcome. Um, I, I, like I said, I took three hits and every one of them was in this tire, so um, they did a good job and um, I I can't really complain. Um, you know, I, I backed off of the line fast like I always do, and it it bit me on this one. Usually I can get away with making a hit right away, but this time somebody else saw me saw me go and and he came and got me so. He did a good job. Yeah, that's that's the way she works sometimes. Try to be aggressive, sometimes it'll get you. But I had fun. We really had a lot of fun at that show. Um, we will get you the aftermath of the wagon. If you guys saw the 
um, the heat and feature you know that that one did a little bit better than I did with Adam behind the wheel so we'll get you that aftermath up you'll probably see it tomorrow worst case scenario you'll see it the next day so what's next for the Honda um, I really wanted to junk it obviously I can't junk it at this point um, it's just got too much left in it um, there's a lot of shows coming up in Wisconsin um, however we also have shows that we're promoting coming up and I've got a, a ton of just wanting to make sure that we have everything set so that we can make Marshfield as big of a show as it deserves to be and Hayward as big of a show as it deserves to be and Seymour you know that show is just going absolutely nuts so we plan on blowing that one out of the water um, we really plan on, on putting a lot of effort into these shows so right now guys I do not know what show you will see one goose running at next that'll be my disclaimer right now um, everything on the schedule that we wanted to run has been taken off our focus is on Marshfield and Hayward and if in there I find time to throw this back together then I'll go and run it and I will let you guys know where she's gonna end up but as of right now we're gonna get you some rule videos stuff like that coming up um, for our shows um, I've got a bunch of stuff to post for for the promotion side of things so sorry we may have a little bit of downtime I'm gonna try to keep videos coming um, if I can get to events to at least film them, I will do that, but we will see what happens. Appreciate you following along as always. Get goosed.